Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Well, we have George Berwick, a sales rep for the phone company in the hot seat now, but don't worry, he's not the guy who calls you every night during dinner. I don't know who that guy is. Anyway, George is a local boy from across the river here in New York, in Brooklyn, as a matter of fact. He's a true New Yorker. Going to go out on the limb here, George. You're probably a great sports fan, too. Yes, huh? I am, Regis. How'd you guess? Yeah, which okay. team do you... Uh... Um, Giants, Rangers, and Yankees. How about sports. the Yankees this year? Broke my uh, heart. That hurt. That hurt. But we'll be back again. One throw to second base, George. I'm we could have had it. I'm telling you, we could have had it again. Fourth time. Did but you maybe we're just getting tired of seeing them win. You know, I don't know. George, did you go crazy when you saw that happen? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. Did you get over it yet? Oh, yeah. I got over it real fast. So we got a call from here. Oh, good. Yeah. That's no great. Problem. No problem. And your friend uh, Deidre's behind. Hi, Deidre. How you doing? I'm fine, Regis. What how do you, you do? Um, I'm in sales for another phone company. Oh, two sales reps getting together. <laughs> Is this something serious here, George? No, it's just a, just a good friendship, that's all. You're really not that friend. lucky, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, George. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here, Dietrich. Right. George, are you ready to play the game? I'm here ready, you've won $2,000. We're going for 4,000 audience. You ready? Yeah, we're all set. <laughs> Let's play a bunch of being millionaires. George has two lifelines going for 4,000. Here it comes. On Mount Rushmore, what U.S. president is depicted wearing glasses? Theodore Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. That would be A, Theodore Roosevelt, final answer. You're right for $4,000. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. George, up to 8000 In the 2001 movie, Monsters, Inc., the monsters live in what city? <laughs> Monstrantinople? Buena Scaries, Monstropolis, Cool York City. You know what? I'm going to go for the 50 50, okay? Why don't we do a computer? Take away two of those wrong ones. Okay, here we go. I'm going to say C, Monstropolis. Final answer. George, you got that right for $8,000. Well, you had a 50% chance of getting it right, and yeah. it paid off. Good That's for right. you. Okay. 16,000, coming up, George. Which of the following is a white wine? Chianti, Pinot Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, boy. I hate to use all these up right away, but uh, I'm not a wine drinker. Well, now, George, I'm going to say... Think uh, of the names. You know, I'm thinking, I am thinking of it, yeah, Reese. The I names mean it. anything. I'm thinking of it. And I'm going to say B, Pinot Blanc, because I just realized what Blanc means in French. Final answer, George. Uh, final answer, yes. The right answer, George, is 68000 <laughs> This guy's got me on the edge of my chair. <laughs> $32,000 coming up. Jane Smiley's 1991 bestseller, The Thousand Acres, takes place in what setting? Arizona desert, Florida swamp, Maine woods, Iowa farm. I read a lot, but I don't read novels too much, so uh, this is a tough one. Thousand Acres. Thousand Acres. I tried to sell someone a thousand acres of Florida swamp once, but I don't think it would count. Um, what I think I'm going to do is use one of my lifeline phone of friends. It's the last one you got. I understand that, but I do not notice at all. Let's do it. Who do you want to call? Donna. My sister Donna. Your sister Donna? Yes. All right, fine. AT&T, bring us Donna. Donna? Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from a Wants to Be a Millionaire. How Hi, you? Regis. How are you? Guess who I've got here? My brother, George. Yeah. He's a character. He certainly is, yeah. but we love him. <laughs> I'll bet you do. All right, he's going for $32,000, so it's kind of important here, Donna. Okay. All right, you've got 30 seconds, George, and they start now. Donna, Jane Smiley's 1991 bestseller, A Thousand Acres, takes place in what setting? Arizona desert, Florida swamp, Maine woods, Iowa farm. 20 seconds.
thousand acres. A thousand acres. Yeah, Arizona yeah. desert, Florida swamp, Maine woods, Iowa farm. Eight seconds. I believe it is an Iowa farm. Are you 100%? I'm about 85% sure. Okay. What'd you say, 85%? 85%, at least 15% right over here. Okay. Uh, I know she's very good with, with literature, and uh, she's good like that. I'm going to say D, Iowa farm. Final answer. You're right, George, for $32,000. Thank you, Donna. We'll be back in a moment. He'll vote for $64,000. We got George Berwick here from Brooklyn, New York. He is a typical New York guy, loves sports. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had an interesting wine question. And Deidre, oh, your yeah. friend, enjoys a glass of wine and took you to a wine taste. Yeah, she does. What happened was last season during his football Giants, uh, Giants season ticket, so I took her to a game. She, oh, my world. So, it, conversely, she took me to a wine tasting thing a few months later. How'd you like it? I liked it. It was good. We, we, instead of sipping, we just drank a lot more wine. You know, we drank them free wine, free cheese and crackers. I was happy, you know. I didn't miss a game or nothing on TV, so it was good. And, uh... But then, then that, when that wine question came up, I was, I was hearing the wrath of her behind me there, thinking, what, are you crazy? Didn't you learn anything? No, I didn't. Sorry, <laughs> Deidre. <laughs> so, George, you're a single guy? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah never got married? No, never did. Yeah. No. no. Deidre looking good, George. Yeah, she sure is. She's a very beautiful woman. Think about yes. it, George. Oh, I'm not thinking. Yeah, Settle you down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do with all this money? What I do? Well, basically, I know the first thing I'm going to do is lock into a place and buy my own and uh, get a direct TV and watch football, football, football. Oh, yeah. I can watch more than one game at a time, I'll be in my glory, like NFL headquarters, you know? George, Great. who needs to get married with a guy like you? you know I'm telling mean? you, I'm telling you, yeah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won 32000 You can't go home with less than that. Isn't Very that good? good. That's We're looking at 64000 yeah. George, but no lifelines left. Let's play. Yeah. 64000 $64,000. All right, George, listen, on the TV series, The Sopranos, Tony Soprano tells outsiders he is a consultant in what business? Construction, import, export, waste management, trucking. Hmm, I saw, I just got HBO a short while ago when I was watching like the first season, and I saw an episode, I'm pretty sure it's this, and since I have no lifelines left, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna say C, waste management, final answer. Yes, George, for $64,000. Wouldn't it be just great if George wins a million dollars right now? I'd love to see it. <laughs> We're going for $125,000, George, four away from the million. Here it comes. The Republic of San Marino is entirely surrounded by what European country? Italy, France, Spain, Portugal. Lose 32 if you have it wrong. Uh, I understand that. Okay. I see, uh, I'm now we're down to three out of four, which is not much now we're down, but uh, i got to try to do a little thinking here for a second. San Marino. I'm trying to get a mental picture of Europe in my head, you know, it's like... <sighs> you know, I really have a strong feeling on it, but since, uh, Lifelines left. I want to think for a short while longer and make sure nothing pops in from the back. Talk of to my us, head. George. Tell us about the yeah. uh, the the uh, chances. Well, yeah. Italy. I'm saying I'm looking at, at Italy and and Portugal mainly now. I'm focusing on those two. San Marino. I know Portugal has sour instead of sand. They say. So I'm going to go for to say a Italy. Final answer. George, you're right for 120. Guy from Brooklyn going against all the odds here. No lifelines. He doesn't need them. A quarter million dollars coming up, George. Check it out. In 1972, the U.S. gave what animals to China in exchange for the pandas Ling Ling and Sing Sing? Were they duckbill platypuses, golden eagles, musk oxen, North American 
Tyson. Mm. I would have known this about 20 years ago, Reeves, because my memory is still fresh from when that happened. But no. Uh... Try and think that's a national still bald eagle, a national symbol. I don't know if a golden eagle is the same thing. North American bison, it's almost a dangerous species, I think. I don't know if the pandas are considered a dangerous species and you trade one for the other. But uh, really, really confused on that one. And uh, time. Just want to remind you, you lose yeah. 93,000. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to think hard about this one. Golden eagles, bison. Trying to get the roll decks going in my memory. Yeah, back sure, to sure. Lose, you know. Let's see. <laughs> cool. So close shit so far, but um, I'm really not sure between eagles and the bison. So. $25,000, and that should be enough for George to get his own place, all the football he can watch, and a couple of bottles of wine when Deidre comes over. Did you see that kiss? George will never be the same. Anyway, good luck to you, George. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's meet tonight's latest group of people ready to win a million dollars here in the Big Apple. And they are Rick Mendenhall, Anahuac, Texas. Mary Frakes, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Julie Tan, Venice, California. Kirk D, Nashville, Tennessee. Jonathan Slevos, Warren, Ohio. Karen Ashwood Schneider, Mandeville, Louisiana. Fletcher Clement, Little Rock, Arkansas. Sharon Flannery, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Paula Taylorburg, Valley Village, California. Mike Gister, Catonsville, Maryland. All right, everybody, nice to have you here. Now, here is tonight's first fastest finger question. Come on up. Put these singers in the order they released their debut album, starting with the most recent. Shania Twain, Olivia Newton-John, Madonna, Christina Aguilera. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent, and it was Christina Aguilera. And then you had Shania Twain, Madonna, and Olivia Newton-John. Let's see who got this one right fast this time. Looking for a winner, and it is Julie Tan. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you, Julie. All right, Julie's going to go for a million dollars when we come back. He's ready. He wants it. He's going to win it. from Walnut Creek, California, just outside of uh, San Francisco, in the hot seat right now. Boy, came out of that fastest finger seat like a rocket. Like a rocket. And you should have won that because your business is in singing and, and songwriting, isn't well, it? Well, I don't know if it's a business if you're losing money doing it, but uh, definitely I'm an aspiring singer-songwriter. Yeah, and you gave up quite a nice job to go for it, huh? I did. I had an executive sales and marketing position for an electronics company, and mm -hmm. I quit that about two years ago. Six-figure job, I hear. Well, low six figures. All right. <laughs> Still six figures. It's still six figures. Sure. I, I broke that benchmark, and for me, mentally, um, there was something more I wanted in life, and it was to play music. To write songs, play music, and sing it as well. Exactly. I, I write all my own songs, and I play it live, and every now and then, you know, without the chicken wire, I dodge a little bit of uh, objects being thrown at me, but uh, What do you often. need to be, to be a success? Do you need to get one of those songs on the radio? I need to be on your show, Regis. I need to be on the <laughs> Regis and Kelly show. <laughs> Picked the wrong show, huh? <laughs> No, but what really do you need as, as an inspiring songwriter, as a singer? 
um, you know, I really just need that one big break. Yeah. Maybe a song on that one TV show and that one movie, or hopefully somebody who sees me out there in TV land and mm -hmm. likes me. Uh, people who buy my CDs off the website or something like that. Good, good for you. And you've got a friend with you, Michael Perlmutter. Hi, Michael, how you doing? Hi, Regis, good. And uh, you're in the music business, too. I am, yes. What do you do? I work for a record company, and I do uh, music video production. And have you met Julie Tan, the singer? I have met her many times. And is she on your label? She's, uh, yeah. Well, not yet. We're working on that. All right, good. Well, keep us, keep us appraised, will you? All right, Julie, uh, you know about the rules. You know yes, about I the do. lifelines. Let's do it. Let's go for a million dollars, okay? Who wants to be a millionaire? Julie Tan, right now. $100, Julie. A person who is certain to win an election is often said to be a what? Shoe in, sit in, wishy washy, rich guy with connections. Ooh. I often think it's D, but in this case, I'll go with A, shoe in. Final? Final answer. Yes, the shoe in. $100. Julie Tan going for 200 In Vegas casinos, what do people typically use in place of cash at the gaming tables? Chips, sticks, blocks college tuition. I think I'm going to stick with that handy-dandy A final answer. Right. They use chips. $300. A common piece of advice for moving heavy objects is lift with your what? Back, legs, feet, hernia. Going to go with a B legs. Final answer. And you lift with your legs is the right answer. 500, Julie. Classic 1934 song advises you ought to be in what? Theater, school, prison, pictures. Uh, I'm going to go with deep pictures, final answer. You ought to be in pictures. <laughs> You're wonderful to see. Good going. Up to a thousand. Big red chewing gum is what flavor? Cherry, strawberry, cinnamon, spearmint. It's going to be sea cinnamon, final answer. She's right for a thousand. All right, Julie, here we go for two thousand. Which of these beverages is often used to remove stains from clothing? Coffee, apple cider, club soda, iced tea. I'm gonna stick with C still, club soda, final answer. That's what they use for two grand. Thousand, Julie. What continent cannot be conquered in the U.S. version of the board game Risk? Antarctica, Australia, Africa, North America. I believe it's A. Antarctica. Final answer. Yes, it is. The four thousand. She's unstoppable. Eight thousand coming up. Approximately what percentage of the Earth's surface is covered by water? 25%, 40%, 70%, 90%. 90%. Unstoppable but slowing down. Um... Torn between two answers, and I know this is a pretty easy one, just a little nervy. So I think I'm going to use up my first lifeline and uh, ask the audience if I could ask anybody who's not sure not to guess an answer. Is that possible? All right. You just did. Audience, Good. we Thank need you. your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, the audience says 70% uh, and 77% and, uh, of them, so that's a nice percentage. They look pretty bright, so I'm going to go with the audience. 70% right. C, final answer. That's what it is, 70% not covered by the water. All right, Julie, going for 16,000 when we come back. Julie Tan from Northern California in the hot seat, former marketing star, wants to be a rock star in music and doing quite well here. You're turning into a star right here, going for 16000 in just a moment. So uh, tell me a little more about yourself. I understand you always liked uh, music. You could actually 
whistle a song before you could speak when you were a little baby, huh? I did. I started whistling when I was about four months old. I had no teeth. Um, my mother would take me to the doctor's. We were sitting in the waiting room, and I would be whistling, and nobody would know where this whistle was coming from. They would check the windows, see if the air was coming in or whatever, and then my mom discovered it was me, and they were just wow. pretty embarrassed by it, actually. This is meant to be. This is an omen, isn't it? Gosh, I hope so. Okay, well, let's get back to it now. You've got two lifelines left. You're going for 16,000, seven away from a million, Julie. Let's play. Here we go. 16,000 dollars, Julie. Majority leader Tom Daschle represents what state in the U.S. Senate? Oregon, South Dakota, Illinois, Wisconsin. Well, I'm thinking I knew this yesterday on the plane ride over, but right at this moment, I don't. Um, well, I hate to use up those lifelines. Um, but you know what? I am going to go ahead, go ahead and use up one of my lifelines. Sure. Can I do the 50-50, please? Why don't we narrow it down, computer? Okay, um, it is B, South Dakota. Final? Final answer. You're right, it is. It's $16,000. Sometimes that works. You narrow it down, you know, by two, and all of a sudden, well, one know, It's, it's pops not a very out. populous state, but gee, you know, it's, it's not popping out. Yeah, to but me. he's a very important guy. Yes, absolutely. 32000 Julie. Here it is. Before forming the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl was the drummer for what rock band? Nirvana. Soundgarden, Green Day, Radiohead. I want to say thank you for a music question. It's going to be a Nirvana. Final. Final answer. It's Nirvana for thirty-two thousand. Oh. Sometimes somebody in that seat gets lucky with something they really know about. Good. It won $32,000. We're looking at the question now for $64,000. In the 1998 movie, You've Got Mail, what is the screen name of Meg Ryan's character? Shop Girl? Lonely 123? Book Lady? Princess? I know she ran a bookstore in that movie. So book lady is very tempting. Princess, shop girl, don't sound right. I'm gonna take a chance and say see book lady. Okay, final answer? Let's make that the final answer. Ah, it was shop girl. It was shop girl, but we got 32,000 out of it, Julie. Hope this helps Thank with you. your career. Thank you. Nice having you, you know. Bye-bye. $32,000. Nice job, Julie. Good luck going after your dreams. All right, everybody, get those fingers ready. Now, here's the next fastest finger question. Put these capital cities in geographic order, starting in the north. Havana, Ottawa, Washington, D.C., Santiago. Set back here. Time's up. Let's see the answer. Correct order. Starting in the north. It's Ottawa, then Washington, D.C., and Havana, and finally Santiago. That's the right order. Let's see who got this one right fast this time. Okay. Winner is Jonathan Hey, 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 hey. 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 Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, Jonathan here. Yeah. Let's play, Jonathan. Oh, oh, oh. Jonathan Silibos, yeah. Oh boy, he's a lively one. I could handle little Julie uh, Tam, but you're not too you're too much for me. Where are you from originally? Uh, Warren, Ohio. And what do you do now? I go to law school at Boston College. Oh really? Want to be a lawyer? Uh, apparently, yes. <laughs> you're not sure? <laughs> no, I, yes I do. <laughs> Boston College guy. No wonder you came after me with the venom. Huh? <laughs> Warren, Ohio. That's great football country, isn't it? It's Produced the best. A lot of uh, great players. So, all right, glad you're here. Want to play who wants to be a millionaire? You got it, let's do it. He wants to be a millionaire, we'll go right now. All right, Jonathan, $100. A 
very loud person is said to be speaking at the top of his what? Mouth, lungs, tongue, karaoke, karaoke microphone. I'm going to say B. Regis' final answer. Yes, top of his lungs. $200, Jonathan. Navy is a dark shade of what color? Uh, green, red, blue. Hello, Salem. Well, my brother would not know this because he's colorblind, but I'm going to say C, blue, final answer. Yes, it's blue. 300. Someone who is pretending to be dead or asleep is said to be playing what? Possum, badger, coyote, customer service rep. A possum, final answer. Yes, it is. It's playing possum. 500, Jonathan. At which of these establishments would a person most likely see a double feature? Bank, restaurant, hair salon, movie theater. I've had a few of these myself. D, movie theater, final answer. That's where you see a double feature. He's going for $1,000. People are most likely to use water wings when doing what? Taking a shower, learning to swim, scuba diving, walking in the rain. Answers B, learning to swim, final answer. That's it. You got $1,000. All right, Jonathan. When we get back, it's open 2000 Jonathan Salimos, Warren, Ohio. Law student, Boston College. Went to Tufts, now on to Boston College. Mom is sitting right behind him there. Amelia, how you doing, Amelia? Great. So as, as a little boy, he showed some dancing ability. Oh, yes. Yeah. He, a very young age. He danced ballet. Well, he tried. <laughs> he was a little better with tap and jazz. He was quite a live wire. <laughs> oh, really? Tap and jazz, yes, too. Uh -huh. Excuse us. Uh, and what do you think? Will he make a good attorney? Oh, yes. Why? He uh, loves to argue. And nope. he's always right. Oh, oh, one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Knew that right off the bat. Yeah. All right, ready to go for it again? $2,000 coming up. Let's play. Here we go, Jonathan. A popular chain of home furnishing stores is named Crate and What? Basket, cabinet, kitchen, barrel. Answer is the barrel, final answer. Crate and barrel, the right answer for two grand. He's up to $4,000. In what U.S. state would a person most likely witness an aurora borealis? South Carolina, Oklahoma, Alaska, Arizona. So the Northern Lights Regis, the answer is C, Alaska, final answer. Got that one right, too. Here it comes for eight grand. The phrase saved by the bell originated in what sport? Tennis, boxing, soccer, bowling. Answer is B, boxing. Final answer. Yes, it's boxing. Here comes the $16,000 question. Which of these baking substances is a primary ingredient of Alka-Seltzer tablets? Yeast, table salt, cornstarch, baking soda. I have a pretty good idea, but this is a good time to use the audience, so I'm going to pull the audience for just... Audience, some help for Jonathan. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Whoa. 91% call it baking soda. They verified my stupidity. The answer is D, baking soda, final answer. Audience is right, $16,000. Six away from the million and going for 32,000. In the 2001 movie, Shallow Hal, what real life self-help guru hypnotizes Hal? Dr. Phil, Deepak Chopra, Tony Robbins, Yanla Van Zandt. I'd just like to thank God for behind the scenes special because I have not seen this movie. However, I did see a making of the movie. And the answer is C, Tony Robbins, final answer. You're lucky, you got it. $32,000 without seeing the movie. Good. Okay, big boy.
boy, you made it. You're up to $32,000. You're still in two lifelines as we look at the $64,000 question. In the U.S., premium caviar comes from what kind of fish? Sturgeon, cod, eel, barracuda. Well, sturgeon did jump right out at me. Uh, cod, I don't think. Cod's pretty, pretty common fish. Barracuda doesn't seem right. Eel, it's kind of gross. I don't know. It might be any of those, but they just don't seem right. Um, it's a lot of money, though. I'd probably... Well, it's a free guess. You're not going to lose anything. Wait, I have 32 already? You've got 32. You're going to 64. Wow. Okay. That changes things, then. It is a free guess, but I'm not going to use it, because I might know the next one, and then uh, why waste lifelines? Mm -hmm. Um... This is for 64. Let's do it. Take the 50. 50 50, please, computer. <sighs> it's still there. This is hard. You don't, eat, you don't eat much caviar in law school, huh? Not a lot of caviar, no. Uh, shoot. You know what? If you want the big money, you gotta take some chances. I'm gonna say A Sturge and final answer. You're right, the 64. jumped out at you right from the beginning you knew it was Sturge. Hmm? I guess I'm just smart. Okay. Four away from a million, still one lifeline, and here it is for $125,000. What city gained fame for turning on its lights as John Glenn passed overhead during his 1962 space orbit? Osaka, Japan. Perth, Australia. Vancouver, Canada. Toulouse, France. Once again, I have one that's jumping out at me. I believe Toulouse, France is where Lindbergh landed when he went cross Atlantic, and that would make sense that they would do it. Uh, just, I believe that's where he landed. Uh, you're going to so lose sure. 32,000. Yeah. You, you know what? It, it just I, still have a lifeline. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's one. Want to get up and dance a little? That might make me a little bit more comfortable, but... Uh... Let me, let me use my, my phone, friend. Sure. I'm gonna call my cousin, Michelle. Cousin Michelle. Let's get her on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hello? Hello, Michelle. Yeah? Regis Philbin, calling from New York City. How are you? Okay, how about yourself? I'm here with your cousin, Jonathan, and he is just squirming in the chair. Okay, um... <laughs> He needs some help, okay? Well, hopefully I can give it to him. All right, he's going to have 30 seconds, and they start right now, Jonathan. What city gained fame for turning on its lights as John Glenn passed overhead during his 1962 space orbit? Osaka, Japan. Perth, Australia. Vancouver, Canada. Toulouse, France. I believe it's Toulouse, France. I don't know. Um, I don't ever remember reading anything about that. Did Charles Lindbergh land in Toulouse, France? Ran out of time. Yep, I did. <laughs> you bought with 64, you know. I could. I mean, that's a lot of money, but it's a game. I gotta play it like a game. second-guessing myself, so I'm gonna have to walk. Gonna walk, 64. All right, the correct answer is Perth, Australia. Just saved yourself 32,000. Good luck to you. All right, Jonathan. Well, you know, Lindbergh did land in France, but it was Paris, not Toulouse.
It was the people of Perth who turned on their lights for John Glenn that night. All right, it's crunch time, and here comes the next fastest finger question. Put these vehicles in order by how many wheels they usually have, starting with the most. Motor scooter, tricycle, unicycle, minivan. Time's up again. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most wheels, and it's the minivan, then the tricycle, and the motor scooter and finally the unicycle. Let's see who got this one right in the fastest time. The winner is Village out in California that's near North Hollywood in the hot seat right now and works at a film studio doing what? Um, I am a client service coordinator in the DVD center. Which is red hot right now, isn't it? It is very hot yeah, right now. People yeah. love the DVDs and the, Absolutely. And the nice uh, qualities that you get from them. It's amazing. But you've got quite a background here, miss. I don't know where to start. You went to USC? I went to USC. Graduated I, with two degrees? I got two degrees, broadcast journalism and Italian. Mm-hmm. And so what did we do with those? Well, um, you know, I finally found a job where I combined it. I got an internship at the Associated Press in Rome. Aha. Uh -huh. So that you could do write and also... So uh, I could do write, uh, so I could write and speak Italian And at the how same did that time. work out? You know, it was okay. I went to Rome because I was following a guy that I was in love with. And so... Oh, well, now we're getting juicy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Never mind the writing and everything else. What happened? Well, you know... Rome, such a romantic it place. It was beautiful, and the I had fountains. a... The fountains. It's beautiful. The ruins. The ruins, the and boys. What, what happened to the guy? Well, you know, um, after the three months, I realized that I was not in love with him, and I also had run out of money, so I came home. Arrivederci Roma, I say. Yeah. <laughs> or adios amigos, whatever you want. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, well, we're glad you're back. And maybe you'll win a million dollars here, huh? Let's that do it. Let's great. play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Paula. <laughs> One hundred dollars. Two portions that are divided equally are described as even what? Even Stephen, even Evan, even Irwin, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Um, that would be A, even Stephen. And that's right for a hundred dollars. Okay, Paula, take a look at this one for two hundred dollars. A dog or cat commonly keeps away fleas and ticks by wearing a protective what? A sock? Collar, sweater, underroom. Um, I actually have two cats and they wear these. Uh, it's B collar. That's it. It's the collar. <laughs> you go going for three hundred dollars. In a popular swimming pool game, if someone yells out Marco, what is the expected reply? Polo, Antonio, Geronimo. Where's your speedo? <laughs> that would be A polo final. That's it, Marco Polo. $500. The prefix cyber refers to what subject? Cars, food, animals, computers. That'd be D, computers. Yes, computers for 500 Here we go, Paula, for $1,000. In books, a reference note that appears at the bottom of the page is a what? Index? Appendix, footnote, headnote. That would be C, footnote. You know your English, you got a thousand dollars. Keep going now, here it comes for $2,000. A well known Gatorade ad slogan urged consumers to be like what athlete? Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. Shaquille O'Neal, Martina Navratilova. That would be A, Michael Jordan. Final answer? Final answer. Be like Michael Jordan is the right answer. One, two thousand. All right. And Mr.